In this demo, I'm going to show you how to execute a messaging extension search command from an existing message. Now, this exercise or this demo assumes that you've already created the Microsoft Teams app project with the Yeoman generator, which I did in the previous demo. So you can jump back in the playlist if you want to see that. So we created this um, action messaging command extension in my previous uh, demo um, that enabled a user to add the details of a planet to a message. So what I want to do now is I want to add a search extension to find a specific uh, planet. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to update the apps manifest to add a new messaging extension. So let's go back to our code and let's go find our manifest file. And first of all, you'll notice the version number is being pulled, uh, is being set dynamically. That's being set from the package.json file. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the version number of our app to 1.0.1. That just ensures that if I, when I go to upload it, that if there's an existing instance of my app, it'll upgrade the one that's already there. Um, now, if I go back to our manifest, the next thing that I want to do is I want to add a new uh, command. So I'm going to find this array here. There we go. So now we can see that instead of the type of action, we have a type of query. We have our context it means it only happens in the compose box. But I've also set some parameters, or one parameter, and this parameter is the search keyword. So now, let's go in and let's update the code for our bot. So I'm going to go back over to our bot, and a couple things we need to do first. So in the bot builder, I need to add a few more import statements, specifically one for the messaging extension uh, query object. And then I'm also going to add in a messaging extension uh, response. Now let's implement the well-known method uh, for when a query is going to be submitted. So that well-known method uh, to the SDK is called handle teams messaging extension query. Now this method is first going to get the search keyword that was passed in uh, and sent from the bot from Microsoft Teams. And then it retrieves planets based on three different queries. The inner uh, query is going to return all the planets inside the asteroid belt, so Mercury through Mars. The outer one is going to return all the planets outside the asteroid belt, Jupiter through Neptune. And then the keyword, the, the other option that we have, is going to actually uh, find a, a specific uh, planet that was entered. So we have two options they can select from, inner or outer. And then we have, otherwise, we're just going to do a search. Um, it's going to then take those results, and it's going to convert them to cards and add them to the messaging extension response object that's returned um, by the bot framework. And ultimately, uh, it's going to then send that to, the bot framework will send that to Microsoft Teams. So the last thing I need to do is I need to create some utility method here called the get planet result card um, that we'll go ahead and add to the end of our class. So now let's go ahead and test this. So I'm going to restart my project here and I'm going to go back to Microsoft Teams and I need to install my bot or upgrade it. So I've already gone through and uninstalled my, my previous uh, messaging extension that I uploaded earlier. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and add the exact same one. Um, this one was create modified just a minute ago. So we'll go ahead and add it. And then I'll say add. And we can see it's version 1.0.1. .1. So it's gone ahead and installed it. Now, after updating the app, I've now been sent back to our one-to-one -one chat here uh, with our bot. So now back in our conversation, our one-to-one -one chat with our mess for our messaging extension, I'm going to come over here and select the planet messaging. Um, and now you see it's a little bit different. Now I'm able to go query for uh, a, um, uh, a, a planet. So if I say enter, it should give me a list of just the planets inside the asteroid belt. So there we go. Just four of them, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Looks like the images for Earth and Mars are, are, have gone bad. Um, if I say outer, it's going to give me Jupiter through Neptune. Um, or I can just search for a specific planet, uh, such as Neptune. There we go. Now it found it. So it found an exact match to it. Or I could look for Mars. And when I select it, well, let's do one that we know is going to come back. So how about um, Saturn? So I'll select Saturn, and there we go. We're getting a new uh, response there for the card that was actually submitted. It looks like Saturn's image isn't there. But we can see that the same that everything is functional, and it is, uh, it's working exactly as expected. 
So in this demo, you saw how to execute a messaging extension search command from an existing message.